I'm going to start with my darks. The number two, or the middle value greens in this tree, I'm just going to leave them pretty much. I'm just going to leave them. So I'm going to start with burnt sienna. I have cleaned off my mixing surface. I'm going to start with burnt sienna, the dark green, and some turquoise, and a little touch of this cool red, so that I have a nice dark green. So I'm going to now start with that dark green and with a very, very light touch on the shadow side of the tree, I'm going to restate some darks. And on the undersides, I'm just going to re, uh, restate on this shadow side of the tree, shadow side of the forms, some of these darks. Now, as I go to the top of the tree, I'm going to, in a subtle way, lighten the darks up just a little bit. It may be imperceptible to the viewer, but I'm going to lighten some of these up by adding a little raw sienna to that dark that I initially started out with. Okay, so there, I'm going to put a little bit more dark right in here. so that I get a good dark that I'm going to play some lights against. Now this is going to go very quickly because this is kind of behind the tree. Right there, and then I'm going to put a few lighter lights in this rusty color tree here. So now there's, I've, I've gestured in my darks now I'm going to take a little bit of turquoise and a little bit of the, my cool red, maybe a touch of white, and I'm going to restate some of those vibrant cool colors on the back side of my tree. Maybe have to grab a little blue with it. And in these darkest darks, a little lighter, in these darkest darks, I'm going to put a vibrant, cool color in a few places. And this is just to add visual interest to my painting. Do some with that turquoise with a little blue in it. Maybe have a little touch of the cool red in a few places. This just adds visual interest to my painting. Now, I'm going to lighten this up a little bit more, take a little bit more of the cool red. And I want to pop a, 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 just a, a few of these cool reds into these dark areas. There's going to be a little touch of the turquoise with it. And these are going to add a little bit of visual interest. with some of these darks. That little bit of accent of red helps that up. Now I'm going to clean out my brush. Clean out my brush. And now I'm going to focus on the lightest lights. These, all these lights that I've already put in here, I'm pretty much going to leave those alone except for the fact that I'm going to try to get some lighter lights on top of them. So I'm going to start with white, yellow ochre, a little touch of my yellows here, and I'm going to take a touch of orange. And I'm going to experiment with this. I want a little bit more of a vibrant highlight color. And I may have to put a touch of turquoise in with this to cool it down just slightly and I test this color around the center of the tree. Now I take a little orange with it. Now I've got a color that I like. I'm going to cool it down just a little bit more with the turquoise. I'm testing this color around the center of the tree. 
Now you, you have to take the time to get this color. It's, it's a, I want it to, to not be too hot, but I really want it bright. We're, we're really showing the power of the sun on here. Okay, there we go. We're just about... I've got both of my yellows. I've got orange in there. I've got yellow ochre. Uh, hot colors. Trying to get... And I've got a little touch of turquoise with it. I'm after a color that is going to warm up the light side of my tree. You see how that's working there? Put some of them, some of these colors over some of these darks to break them up just a little bit. I might take a little touch of burnt sienna on some of them. I could even take a little touch of red for visual interest down here in the lower portion. So now I'm, I'm close to the color that I want, so I'm taking some liberties with my, my color just to add visual interest. Okay? Now, over, over on this rusty tree over here. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some of these vibrant colors, but I want to be careful not to overplay these rusty colors so that I take away from this tree too much. I don't want to compete with the chairman of the board over here. I just I want to support the chairman of the board without competing with him. And now I'm going to go to a low value red down in this tree. Oops. Oops. I know what I mean when I say oops. What do you mean when you say oops? Okay, we're going to put a little bit of a low value, just a few low value reds down in here. Now, I'm going to break up this shadow a little bit down here with some of these darker, radiant colors. See what that does down in there? Okay, are you with me? Lots of color, and I'm going to throw just another real whammy in here. start with just a burnt sienna and the dark green and to that I'm going to add blue and I'm going to get a very dark color and I'm going to add a little bit of turquoise to that and a little bit more burnt sienna I'll lighten it up slightly with turquoise and maybe a little raw sienna I want a very dark gray that I can start with and I'm going to have to lighten that up just slightly. A good place to test that color is in this shadow area. Now, I've got some colors here that, um, that I'm going to be able to work with, but I'm going to go with a slightly smaller brush. Okay, I'm going to, re I'm going to go back in and get a little bit more paint to work with here. Okay, I think that's going to work. I'm going to load my brush, and I told you about this dead branch that I'm going to... I want, I want this to look like nature was both kind and cruel to this tree. So I start that branch, and I bring it down. All right? Now, when I have this, boom, I'm going to also...
show that there were some limbs that came off of this, but these limbs have been broken. Just a little character. Now I'm going to show some tree trunks down here. I want to show that this tree trunk, boom, is right there. But there's also some smaller tree trunks that are going to be involved in this. All right. So I've got enough information there now with the, the small brush. Now I'm going to go to a smaller brush, and which is going to be somewhat of a watercolor brush, almost a small, round watercolor brush. And this is going to be my, this is where I, I'm going to have some fun with some small tree trunks that are in a little cluster right down here. And these add visual interest to my painting. Now, here's some tree trunks. Just breaking up some of these holes that are in my trees, in amongst my trees here. Now, all we have to do is give the viewer enough information to suggest that there is structure underneath these trees. There is a little bit of structure. You don't have to go through all the work of painting in all the tree trunks. All we have to do is show a little bit of information of where some of these tree trunks are and voila, we've got trunkness. Now just a minimal amount of information is all that's required. Take some white and some orange into that mixture and get a nice light color. And there's where some light got through to illuminate. All of a sudden there's, let's see, there's a little bit of sunlight that has gotten through maybe to a couple of little portions of the tree trunk.